everyone, I'm Ariel Lin, and this is Ariel in Yoga. So you know who I am, you know what you're doing. Thank you for joining me on the mat today. It is now March already, so we are getting to that time of year where people are starting to get a little bit stir crazy, you know, March Madness is a thing. And maybe we're feeling a little on balance, off center, feeling a little closed off. We've been hibernating all winter. So today we're gonna take a few minutes to root down, ground down, activate that root chakra and open the heart chakra as we move into spring. So we'll start in a nice seated, comfortable position towards the front of our mat, sitting up nice and tall, feeling a nice line of energy moving up the spine through the top of the head. So your sit bones here, the muscles and the bones and your booty are feeling nice and flush with the mat, grounding down. As we inhale, we'll rise our shoulders up to our ears and exhale, releasing the shoulders back and down. Our palms are resting gently on our knees, sitting up nice and tall. Inhale and exhale to land in this moment. You did a big thing for yourself today, coming to the mat today, getting ready for the spring ahead. On an inhale, we'll rise our hands up and overhead, reach, reach, reaching the fingertips towards the sky. Maybe we look up towards the fingertips. Before the fingers interlace, we press our palms away and then we twist to the right, bringing the left hand to the right knee, our right fingertips tense behind the low back, we inhale to sit up nice and tall, and exhale to twist, maybe looking over that right shoulder, inhale to lift the spine, creating space between the vertebra, and exhale to twist a little deeper. On your next inhale, we'll come back to center, reach up and overhead, reaching maybe just a little bit further this time, before we interlace with fingers, press the palms away and then twist to the left. Sitting up nice and tall, we inhale and exhale to twist. Maybe looking over that left shoulder here. Inhale and exhale to go just a little further, create a little more space in the spine. Then we'll inhale, coming back to center, reaching up and overhead one more time before we, meeting with the chest, come forward into a forward fold. Maybe reaching a little bit further, getting a nice stretch in the shoulders and then bringing the forehead down to the ground, to the earth. Feeling rooted in the sit bones here and through the forehead, through the palms. Inhale. And exhale to relax here in your forward fold. Maybe give your forehead a massage. And on an inhale, we'll use this forward momentum to come up to a tabletop position in the center of our mat. We'll have our hands spread nice and wide here to take the stress off our wrists. Our wrists will be underneath our shoulders, our knees underneath the hips. The spine is a nice straight line here. Try to keep your shoulders active so you're not collapsing here. You're nice and rooted into the ground, into the mat, feeling the support of the earth beneath you. And then we'll reach to the right with our right arm and then bring it underneath our left for a thread the needle position, bringing our right shoulder and our right ear to the mat. Inhale to fill all sides of the torso here, filling up with air. And exhale to relax the weight of the body completely into the mat. Should feel great on the shoulders. Inhale. And exhale to come back up to a tabletop position. We'll take that to the other side. So on an inhale, we'll reach that left hand over to the left and then exhale to thread the needle, bringing the left shoulder, left ear to the mat. We 
waking up the shoulders, waking up the spine. Inhale to fill up completely with air, with our life force. And exhale into the support of Mother Earth. Inhale. And on your exhale, we'll come back up to all fours. This time we'll step our hands just a little bit forward, keeping our hips above our knees. And then we'll melt our chest down, reaching forward. Maybe you bring your chin to the mat for puppy pose here. Keeping your hips lifted towards the sky, reaching forward, getting that nice stretch in the shoulders. Your biceps are by your ears here. Remembering the feeling of this posture as we move into downward dog in a moment, you want that same feeling of the biceps by the ears, being rooted through the palms, having a nice straight line of energy from the base of the spine to the top of the head here. Take a nice big inhale, opening through the chest, opening your heart and exhale surrender to this moment. On our next inhale, we'll walk our hands back to a tabletop position, tuck our toes under and lift the hips up and back for downward facing dog. Take a moment here to pedal it out, lifting one heel while dropping the other, alternating between sides, taking that dog for a walk. Feel great in the calves and the hamstrings. Remembering to take nice deep breaths through the nose and exhale through the nose of the mouth. Keeping the biceps by your ears, letting the head hang heavy. Maybe you nod your head yes, maybe you shake your head no. And then in a moment of stillness, take a nice deep breath and then exhale feeling that perfect alignment of the spine here this should feel really good and then we'll bring our big toes to touch and extend the right leg up and back for three leg dog before bringing the hands between sorry our foot between the hands pivoting on the back foot so that our foot is parallel with the back of the mat We'll keep our front knee over our ankle here and then lift up to warrior two. Our arms are reaching out on either side of us here. Our head is stacked over our heart. Our chest is nice and open and our hearts are stacked above our hips. We're not collapsing into our hips. We're rooted nice and strong. And then we'll look over the front two fingers so our index finger and our middle finger. Root down into your warrior two. Feel the energy from the earth moving up through the feet and then out through the fingertips with each inhale. Bring that energy into the body and exhale. Feeling the support of the mat beneath your feet here. One hand in the past. One hand in the future and our hearts right here in this moment. Inhale to reach, reach, reach forward. Lift the palm up towards the sky and then sweep that hand up and overhead, letting the back hand rest on the back thigh. Look up towards your right palm. Inhale, open across the chest, look up. Exhale back briefly into your warrior two and then we'll bring this right arm to the right thigh and reach our hands on the left up towards the sky. Maybe looking up towards those left fingertips or if you need a little extra stability, looking down towards the mat. Embrace every wobble. And then we'll pivot on that back foot, bringing our hands on either side of the front foot for a low lunge here and take as many steps as you need to bring that back foot next to the right foot. Forward fold. Inhale for a halfway lift, flat back. Nice straight line from the crown to the tail. Exhale to 
fold, plant the hands, step back, downward facing dog. Take a moment to pedal it out here. Take a moment to breathe. Then we'll bring our big toes to touch. And on an inhale, extend that left foot up and back, three leg dog. Before bringing the left foot between the hands, pivoting the back foot with parallel with the back edge of the mat. And coming into warrior two, nice and strong. Remembering to keep that front knee over the ankle. Inhaling that energy up through your feet, letting it shoot past the fingertips, reaching in either direction, but relaxing the shoulders down away from the ears. Looking over the front two fingertips. A lot of power in this pose. We're gonna power through the rest of this winter with our hearts open, giving and receiving love. You don't need to be angry, right? Does nobody any good. So we'll reach, reach, reach forward, flip that palm up towards the sky and paint the sky with our palm. Coming into a reverse warrior here, resting that right hand on the right thigh, looking up towards the left palm, bring our shoulders back. We don't want to collapse into our shoulders here. Inhale. Exhale briefly back into warrior two, and then we'll rest that left hand on the left thigh, reaching our right hands up towards the sky. Maybe we'll look up towards the right fingertips. Or if you need a little extra stability, looking down towards the mat. Inhale. And exhale to pivot on that back foot. Bring the hands to frame the front foot. And take as many steps as you need to bring the right foot forward to the front of the mat to meet the left. Forward fold. Maybe clasp opposite elbows here for a moment, releasing any tension from the low back. Should feel really nice. Let the head hang heavy here. Maybe you sway back and forth. Maybe you enjoy a moment of stillness. And when you're ready, release the hands. Come up, root to rise here. Reaching the arms up and overhead. Palms meet, hands come to heart center. Close your eyes, maybe take a moment to notice how you feel. Notice the energy in your feet coming up through your legs, through to the top of the head. But feeling rounded through all corners of your feet. Maybe you put a smile on your lips. On an inhale, we'll rise our hands up and overhead, open our eyes, look up towards the palms as they meet. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, nice flat back. Exhale, fold, step back to downward facing dog. Pedal it out. Take a moment of stillness, whatever you need. And when you're ready, we'll bring our big toes to touch. Bring that back foot up and back. Sorry, the right foot up and back. And then bring it between the palms and come up for a high lunge this time. Hips square with the front of the mat, arms reaching up and overhead. Maybe a mini back bend here as the palms meet. Then we'll straighten the front leg, pivot on the back foot so that it's parallel with the back of the mat. And then we'll reach up and back for a reverse triangle. Inhale, open the heart, look up towards the palm. Exhale, we'll bring our hands to meet behind us. Clasp our chest square with the front of the room. We'll bend into that front knee so that the front knee is over the front ankle and then come down for humble warrior. Maybe you stay here so your body is parallel with your knee. You don't wanna be resting on your knee, but right alongside it. Or 
Maybe you bring your head closer towards your mat, opening the chest, letting the hands fall behind you. Beautiful. Then we'll release the hands to frame the front foot, pivot on that front, sorry, that back foot, and take as many steps as we need to the front of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Flat back. Maybe your hands rest on your shins, maybe the thighs. Maybe you have nice long arms and can reach the ground. Exhale, fold. And step back to three, sorry, to downward facing dog. Pedal it out. Take a moment of stillness here now. Inhale. Exhale, we'll bring our big toes to touch for our last standing flow on an inhale, lifting that left foot up and back. And then we'll bring our foot in between the palms and come up for a high lunge, keeping our hips square with the front of the room, reaching up and overhead. Maybe the palms meet and you come into a mini back bend. Feeling nice and rooted, our hearts open towards the sky. And then we'll bring our hands behind our back, clasping our hands, pivoting on that back foot so it's parallel with the back edge of our mat putting a bend in our front knee so that our front knee is right above our ankle. And then we'll hinge forward for humble warrior, maybe staying parallel with that front thigh or bringing our head towards the earth, opening the chest, letting the hands hang behind us. Inhale, exhale, surrendering to this moment. Sometimes that's all we can do is just surrender to the moment. Release the hands, frame the front foot, pivot on that back foot, and take as many steps as you need to the top of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Roots to rise here, slowly lifting yourself all the way up to standing, one vertebra at a time, enjoying the journey to get here. Lifting your head last and then reaching the arms up and overhead, hands meet in prayer and come down to heart center. Now we'll step our feet about as wide as our mat here. Take a moment to just adjust to feel rooted nice and firmly into your mat. We'll put our hands in prayer with our elbows out wide, pressing our palms together so there's some energy across the arms, across the shoulders, in the elbows. And we'll start to sit down and then tuck our right elbow into our right knee, our left elbow into our left knee, toes facing forward or just slightly outward. And then you can stay here, or if you have it in your practice, you can seat the booty towards the mat for a yogi squat here, trying to keep your feet planted firmly on the ground and have that resistance of the elbows into the knees, the knees into the elbows, should help you keep your spine nice and tall, your chest open while remaining rooted to the earth. This is such a beautiful pose here. We don't use it often in the Western world, but many, many people use this type of posture for eating, for giving birth. There's a, a lot of power and connectedness to the earth in this pose, beautiful pose. A nice big inhale in your yogi squat and exhale to sit back down onto the mat. We'll extend our legs out in front of us side by side, toes pointed towards the ceiling or towards your face. Sit up nice and tall here and then we'll rise our arms up and overhead reaching towards the sky 
and leading with the chest. We'll take a forward fold, letting our hand rest at the ankles, the shins, the thighs, wherever they land, keeping a nice flat back. Inhale, exhale to go into your fold. Maybe you have a little bend in your knees here, whatever feels good for you in this posture. Releasing any tension from the back, getting a nice stretch across the hamstrings. And then when you're ready, we'll slowly roll up, scoot our bones towards our heels, bringing our feet to the mat and coming down to our backs. From here, we'll bring our feet towards our glutes until we can feel our fingertips brushing the back of our heels. We'll adjust our body so our low back is flush with the mat. Some of us may need to tilt our pelvis to do so. We'll have our palms flat on the mat, keeping our legs together as if we have a block between our knees. We'll begin to lift at the hips into a bridge pose. A nice ramp from the knees down to the hips. Remembering to try to keep those knees together. Inhale. And exhale to slowly lower back down into the support of your mat. You'll hug your knees into your chest. Maybe give yourself a hug, rocking side to side. Allowing the earth to give you a lower back massage and support you as you rock. Then we'll bring our knees up. So they're about 90 degree angle here. And then we'll bring our knees over to the right and extend that left arm out, maybe looking towards the left hand or up towards the sky for a twist. Inhale. Exhale, relaxing into your twist. Maybe you let your shoulders relax further into the mat. You don't want them lifted. Maybe you put a block under the knees for support. Inhale. Exhale to come back through center. And then bring the knees over to the left, extending the right arm, looking over towards the right hand or up towards the sky. Inhale. Filling all sides of the torso, allowing the air to come through your body and rinse out any stress, any worry, any doubt, any stale energy we've been carrying throughout the winter. And exhale to rinse and relax into the twist. On an inhale, we'll come back to center. Give ourselves one last big hug. And then you can release into Shavasana or come up to a nice seated position. Hands resting on your knees, palms facing up. Or if you're on your back, your palms are facing up, hands resting gently by your sides. Taking the moment to breathe in deeply through the nose. And as you exhale, allow the parts of the body touching the mat to feel rooted and heavy. Releasing all of the weight of the body into the support of the earth. Your next inhale, imagine you're growing roots that extend from the parts of the body touching the mat into the earth, rooting down deep. And as you exhale, any negative energy, any worries, doubts, fears, all of these things that have been holding us back for the last few weeks of winter, let it all go. On an inhale, take in the great new energy Mother Earth provides. Let it come up through your roots, enter through your body, flow from the roots all the way up to the top of the head. And as you exhale, you open your heart 
the chain to spring some new energy that continues to flow up through the earth and exhaling anything that no longer serves you. One nice big inhale and exhale into a moment of stillness and quiet in your Shavasana. fingers, the toes, here on your back you begin to turn to one side using your bottom arm as a pillow, taking a moment to reflect on your practice, taking a moment to extend gratitude to yourself for taking this moment today to show self-love, self-care. Find a moment to enjoy grounding energy, opening your heart. When you're ready, come up to a nice seated position on your mat. Inhale, rise your hands up and overhead, the palms meet in prayer, and exhale, the hands to heart center. Your eyes, if you haven't already. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today for this March Madness yoga practice where we did a lot of work with our root chakra and with our heart chakra going into the spring. I'm so excited. I hope you are too. And as always, from my heart to yours.